Huh? No, no, you're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. All right, so yeah, let's take a tour of the crib, man. Let's take a tour of the crib, man. This is the spot. Yeah. All right. I got a couple of figurines over here. Okay. Some of my favorite players, you know. Beijing. All right. Should still be in the league, but that's he should still be in the league, man. Okay. 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 Um, what's up with this championship? Playoffs. Mm -hmm. uh, this other pin behind me, I think I actually just purchased that on the side. But this little Madison Square Garden duplicate, if you will, that was also a stadium giveaway. Okay. Um, at one point, my sister was working for Madison Square Garden, so she got me this little paper holder. All right. All right. This is during the renovation and all mm -hmm. that. So, mm -hmm. you know, just little stuff. My little brother picked up some cards for me, so I threw it up there. Okay. Greg. Some family members, the uncles, when they say, they don't say, I love you, they go, yeah. you good? Yeah, you and good. you know that means yeah. I love you, bro. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, man. Well, where All else right, we go, know, man? We got, some, uh, we got some autograph pictures over here. Okay. We got All Bernard right. King. We got Dikembe Mutombo. People don't even remember that Dikembe suited up in the orange and blue, but he definitely did. Oh, I definitely remember that because yeah. he used to, I mean, exactly. when we was getting our, our bus handed by the Nets, I remember uh, the Dikembe with Dikembe. Yeah, yeah. Mutombo was handling it. Well, I respected Mutombo. And he was waving, he was yeah. waving yeah. the finger. I, was, I respect, was waving I was, I was the respect the finger. I respected Mutombo as a nickname. But you know, we got Greg Anthony. We got T-Mac. People don't remember that T-Mac was on the squad. Oh, oh, we remember that. Come okay, on. good. Yeah, the real remember ones you remember. I if remember you know, that. you know. If you don't, now you do. I feel. You feel me? So, you know, we got Maurice Cheeks, Derek Harper, Chris Childs, J.R. Smith. This is a infamous photo right here. This is right after he hit the buzzer beater. Oh, man. You know what I mean? That's what it meant. I'm saying, no. That's what's up. We got oh, Cheeks. So, wait, you any, any stories behind these autographs? Like, how did you meet any of these so, players? So, um... This one, the Quentin Richardson one, was given to me. I went to a sweet event, and they had like these little backpacks with little goodies and all that kind of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. So I got that one from there. The Greg Anthony one right here, I actually saw him at a meet and greet, and I was able to get that autograph. All these other ones just purchased. Uh, okay. I purchased this from different various websites, mostly Steiner Sports. Shout out yeah, to yeah. Steiner Sports. Yeah, shout out to Steiner Sports. Shout out. Official. Sponsor us. That's what we do. <laughs> what we do. Absolutely, <laughs> man. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we got more over here. You know, happy birthday, Ryan. Larry Johnson, number two. LJ. Okay. LJ. I actually, so there's a stain on this t-shirt because I got this t-shirt at the game. Is that LJ's blood? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? It's my soda. I, I oh, oh okay. Soda okay. 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 You, okay. Know, you can't throw that away. It has my name on it. It's all Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You can't wash it. it. Exactly. You can't wash that either. You know what I mean? Well, let's read right here, autographed. This is another event. Next game I went to, they gave out a t-shirt. This is John Stark's autograph. That was it. We meet him. Yeah. You know I mean? That's my Stark. guy. That's my guy. That's, That's my guy. guy. Right exactly. Exactly. We love you, John. So, you know, we got more in here. Um, this is the Jersey spot. This is the Jersey spot. The Jersey collection. Now, okay. I have about, probably about 50 to 60 more jerseys. Wow. Packed up in suitcases. I had wow. to make space because it's baseball season, so you know, oh. I had to keep out my Mets jerseys as well. Of course, so, of course. You know how much money you can make on Canal Street? Nah. <laughs> nah. nah. You know why? Because Canal Street is bootleg. I was, I was I just checking. Was no, just... yeah, no, listen. Anybody that knows me personally, they'll tell you that I have an obsession with fake jerseys. I hate them. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, mean, no I don't good, understand no how good, people man. can pay $200, $300 for these tickets, and you come to the arena with a fake jersey. Fact. Stop that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I Stop. I, I guess I can't come to the arena no more. We're going to hook you up with some jerseys. Hey, you hook me up with a jersey. I got you, bro. Let, I got yes. you. Because we can't, we can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. And we got that on camera. He said he yeah, got yo, me. Yo, you mind you. hitting that like over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yo, salute to Knicks Nation once again, man. Had a little technical difficulties earlier. It's all good, oh, man. man. We over here at Ryan's house, a.k.a. Yo, the slickest Nick. Yeah. Up, you know what I'm saying? Happy out here. Absolutely, man. Me. Absolutely. But this whole rack right here, this is nothing but authentic. All the swing mans and everything All else authentic. is packed up. Okay. So everything right here is authentic. Some of these are autographed. Oh, we got to see the autographs. Oh, you want, okay. So we're going to be here for a while. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we good, man. We good. Jose Calderon. Jose okay. Calderon. Okay. Okay. Autographs, you know what I mean? You are a Knicks fan for real. Yeah, that's, that's not how. That's not <laughs> how. You are a Knicks fan. That's not how. <laughs> Tyson Chandler. All right. Okay. Autographed, you know what I mean? This guy, autographed. Uh, next, next. Wait, wait, wait. Why uh, is that not on fire? Uh, <laughs> it's an autograph. Why is that not on fire? Uh, all right, so look, all right, look, all right. Let me 
me tell you a quick story. I had about five Porzingis jerseys. Um, shout out to Nick's Omni Fan. They had a charity giveaway. Yeah, shout donated. out Omni Fan, Jen shout and Jazz. Out, shout out all day. Shout out Jen all and day. Jazz. That's my people. Much yep. love, nothing but love. Mm-hmm. They had an event where we were giving away gently used Nick's apparel. Oh, I remember and that. Yeah, all of my Porzingis jerseys. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. The only one I kept. Was this one? Because it's autographed. Yeah. We do have another one. We'll get to that later, though. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. That one's kind of official. You're not really going to see that. Oh, all right, all right. Oh. Okay. J.R. Smith autographed. Earl Gang. You got, you got Earl Gang in here. Shump. Shump. Okay. Okay. Pablo. Okay. Pretty all right, okay. I like fish. You know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt. So who else we got? Um, What else we got going on? We got a lot going on, man. I told you we could be here all day with this. What else we got? Junior. This is not autographed, but this is Timmy Jr., Okay. Authentic. I mean, I gotta say, the home, all the home whites are always fire. crispy though. Like, the home whites are yeah, crispy. Man. I don't know, like a lot of people out there, you might not know, but it's so hard to get the home jerseys authentic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They mass produce their way blue jerseys. That's nothing but the white ones. Yeah. That's hard to come by. So the home ones by, are hard to come by. Hold on to it. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. Do you have any favorites? Favorites. Um, of course, my personal favorites is always my customized authentics. 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta add the personal, the, the personal joint. That's just, hard. That's let me hard. Just say this. Mm. Can we please bring back these orange jerseys? You like the orange? Oh, I, I, I did the orange like the orange jerseys. jerseys. I did these like the orange so jerseys. On? Like yeah. this is not even funny. This this is an amazing jersey. So remember, I was telling you about that Porzingis jersey. Yeah. Nobody's even seen this. Never this before out, seen. Okay. This came out his rookie year. I bought mm. this from the NBA store on Fifth Ave. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, unfortunately. We never wore these while Porzingis was there, but they did make them. Wow. And it's, you see, I still got the tags on it. Yeah, don't even take yeah, the tags yeah, on. yeah. Still got the tags, like fresh tag. I mean, listen, we, we, you know how we feel about Porzingis, but that's exclusive yeah, but right there. Exclusive that's exclusive. Jersey. That's exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm not a Porzingis fan anymore at yeah, all. Yeah, But that jersey. That's exclusive. That's, that's, that's fine. That's You've got to have that on the set. That's fine. You know that's mean? fine. Will there be a time when... That jersey will be accepted back into Nick's Absolutely nation. not. Nah, never. No, never. No, no, I just no, had to no, ask. No, 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 never. Nah. Never. I understand. I respect the question, but never. He's nah. done. He's done. Nah. <laughs> I can't wait. I think he's coming back in November. November 14th. November 14th. I cannot wait. Guys, it's over for him. He's going to hate us. All right, well, okay, yeah, you got a bevy of the orange joints. That's a yeah, that's an autograph one right there. This is another good one. True warrior, come on. Okay. That's fire. Okay. That's fire, that man. Oh! True, true <laughs> warrior, that's fire. That that's fire right respect there. Respect for that. Authentic, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's World, fire. That, when the, when, when Adidas, when come Adidas on. had a, that, the uh, sponsorship. Exactly. That's a World exactly. Peace jersey for you. So, nah, that's these, all. These that's letters back. AKA Ron Artest, for those who are a little unaware. Yeah. We're making you aware right now. Nah, that's all. That's all. Authentic. That's hard. Authentic, you feel me? That's hard. Okay. We got, we got a lot, man. Like I said, we could be here for days. We got more Shumpert. This is my favorite Nick. Not my favorite Nick. Ray Fell. One of my favorites. One of a lot of people out there, y'all probably don't like Raymond Felton. Two but, guns? Uh, yeah. He did a lot what? of guns. Are these, uh, is this patch still on the new ones? This is yeah. only from this year. Yeah. This, uh, that's Nick's tape. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly. once a Nick, always a Nick exactly. child. There you go. I will say, yeah. this, I'll say this about Raymond Felton, man. Raymond Felton... Always seemed to give the Knicks his best. I felt like he was yeah. in the best shape of his life when he was with the That's Knicks. the thing is the shape it yeah. And yeah. he was he was the he was the most productive when he was with the lit the Knicks. And when he left, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Exactly. He kinda of fell off. Exactly. And you know what? In Charlotte too, I feel like he was out of Charlotte. You know? Are we looking on connection, Dave? Yeah. 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 But you know, the thing is is that Everybody hated Raymond Felton because he was fat. Let's just be straight <laughs> I mean he liked so Let's just keep it up. But that's my guy, and he did a lot of work, and if it wasn't for his participation, Amari wouldn't have had that record that's as yes. far as dropping 30-plus points for 30-plus games. Like, that's fair. Raymond Felton was a huge, huge part of that, so we have to give props to Raymond that's Felton. Fair. Yeah, that's I don't fair. care if he was 310 pounds. He put in work, yeah. so let's and, not forget that. And I like that game when Curry was cooking Raymond Felton yeah. all game, and he yeah. came through with the clap block back. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. Raymond. He showed that's the heart, Raymond. Raymond clap back. <laughs> Raymond Felton, clap yeah, back. Exactly. Bad for us. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ugly, Fact. But, you know, there, Curry, there was an orange joint that you had autographed. We saw that one already? Oh, that I'm, one right yeah, there, this yeah. This one's uh, actually John Starks. I met John okay. Starks. Okay, like, so John Starks. Man. Yeah. This is just a blank jersey. This is like an autograph jersey. Okay. My intentions were to get this autographed by, every, once, by most you know people. What I mean? But, yeah. you know, I get lazy sometimes. I don't always bring up with me. But yeah. we do have John Starks on here. So okay, salute to John Starks. That's, 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 that's our guy. 
That's all I got. What else? Oh, this is probably one of my favorites. I just got this back in December. Larry Johnson. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, I think uh, these are the jerseys we want back, right? These yes, are, these these are, are nine the sevens, the right? The these are nine sevens. Yes, these are nine sevens. Yeah, yeah hold that up. Wow, oh, the captain. Oh, the 50th anniversary. Is that the 50th anniversary one? Absolutely. That's why I got the yeah. That's hard. You know, That's know. hard. You That's know. hard. So, you know. But I had the pleasure of meeting Larry Johnson a few times. Back in December, there was a charity drive uh, hosted by Anthony MSG. Okay. Or, you know what I mean? And, um... Larry was there. Nice. He signed this jersey. He also signed this one as well. He signed both of my jerseys. Oh, That's wow. A, oh, wow. And it's a throwback. It's a champion. Throwback. This is a champion joint. Wow. wow. Come on. Woo. That's hard. It's Christmas, it's Christmas. Um, Area Life in the chat said, can you remember your first authentic purchase? Oh, my first authentic. Hmm. That's a good question. At this point, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'd really have to sit down and think because there's so many right now. Yeah. Uh, I want to say it was probably... My first authentic Knicks jersey was probably this one right here. My mama bought me this. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my mama. I love you, ladies. Shout out to Miss Saunders. Where's she at? Uh, where's this jersey? It is a custom. Mm -hmm. It has my name on it. If I can find it, man. So you can't. Jerseys. He got so many jerseys. He can't yeah, even can't find even it. Find is it in a box? You got Earl and Pearl <laughs> up there. Shout out to but it's, Pearl. It's somewhere. It's somewhere over there. Nine nineteen. Oh, yeah, this is another gem now. Okay. H2O. That's my dude. Right. H2O. Okay. Okay. That's my dude. Nice. Authentic. Nice. Now, nice. if you want to give me a jersey. Starter. So you got the authentic starter. If you want to give me a jersey joint. so I don't feel left out and be like, you know. Okay. Let me ask you this. How much money you got? Oh, okay. You well. feel me? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Authentic <laughs> starter <laughs> joint. With the tag. With the tag still on it. With the tag still on it. I will not get the tag still on it. With the tag still on it. I'm from the tag era. Authenticity stickers for all the guys. Oh, we got to zoom in. You got to zoom in. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. That's a lot going on here. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. Here goes another authentic y'all forgot about. Stevie Franchise. Woo! Okay. That's so, a rarity. You know what I mean? rarity. He, he bummed it up for us, but that's oh, a nice what? jersey. That number one is always clean. So he chose yeah. he chose his franchise over Mulberry? There we go. Landry oh, Fields. Landry Fields. Landry Fields, <laughs> Landry Fields. Fields on, with the at. autograph. Wow. Come on. Come on. You know what I mean? That's a lot. Smoking boo, what's going on? I see you there. There was some... Oh, that, oh, oh yeah, respect yeah. to the captain. Start a joint. I want us to a game. Respect to the captain, man. That's his blood right there. That's blood. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> We're just going to call this a gamer. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> In game jersey. You had Absolutely. another New York joint. Um, this one? white one. This one right here. Oh, yeah. This is John Stark. Stark. Oh, what year? Was this 96? This is 96, 97. 96, 97. Yeah, yeah. This oh. is the 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. Gold tag. Okay, Whenever gold you see that tag. gold tag, you already yeah. know. You already know. Yeah, this man. This is another classic. Uh, Facts. Respect the stocks. Respect, respect the stocks, man. Absolutely. Definitely. He's Always such a cool dude, yeah, yo. Man. Like, Starks is so chill. I met him yeah. a few times, different events and whatnot. Every time, very humble. You know what I mean? He's not afraid to talk to the people. You yeah. know what I mean? If y'all look behind you, that's one of my favorite posters in there. Oh, house. of course. Of course. Oh, Gotta have to so dunk. Respect that, to that. The 9 8 uh all-star all -star, game yeah. ticket. I went yeah. to that game. Yeah. I was at this game right here, 98. I was, at the, events, I I was at the Javits Center, Center too. Damn me up for that. I was at the Javits Center too, Facts. man. Facts. Um, I was at the jam session at the Javits Center. Yeah. That was when they had first introduced two ball. Yeah. There was no dunk contest nope. that year. It was that nope. it was two ball because the WNBA had debuted. Yep. So they were trying to get you know the unisex events going on. That's crazy. Bro, I was, I was, yeah, probably you know I mean? trying to do the dunk contest. They had a little dunk contest yeah, for the kids. Did, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Oh yeah, you said that, definitely, man, man. definitely. Um, somebody asked if you got any mellow jerseys. Mellow authentics. Yeah, yeah mellow authentics. I got you. I got you. We respect. The the oh, okay, you okay. Know okay. Know what authentic. All authentics, baby. Like. All you know authentic. I mean? There you go, mellow. I keep the replicas on the stash. Okay, so okay, you know okay, I mean? okay. You okay. Just hang up yeah, 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 yeah. You, you fold the replicas up. Exactly. Yeah. All right, all right. Exactly. Clean, clean up the like, house uh, with them or whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got a mellow autograph though. But we do okay. okay. All right, all right. You know I mean? um, I actually, I used to work at the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue. Okay. And I had the pleasure. I used to work overnights. And uh, one night, it's probably one o'clock in the morning. Mellow came through. Oh wow. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, like yeah. it was nothing, you know what I mean? So I got to meet him then as well. 
Actually, that's like the only time I actually got to meet him. I never got to meet him at a game, but I definitely met him at work one Wow, that's dope. 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 That's dope. dope. That's dope. dope. That's dope. Um, what else? Oh, yep, the, the chat was asking about it. Oh, come on. Let's go. The, the chat was asking about it. You know what I mean? Authentic Nate Definitely joint. Authentic Nate. Authentic you know Nate Robertson. Killing come people on. in the big three. Absolutely. Especially oh, big, baby. big Baby. Big Baby hurting right now. Three. Yeah, man. Nice. On, man. Somebody asked if you were on the Knicks Reddit. Are you on the Knicks Reddit? I am not. He's not on Knicks Reddit. How, how, how do they find you, bro? We're going to we'll give him your profile later, you too, know, bro. Instagram, Facebook, the yeah. Slickest Nick 46. Slickest Nick 46. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Follow me, add me, whatever y'all gotta do. Yeah. The slickest Nick follows all the time. Man. Oh, y'all wanna know about the slickest Nick? Here we go. Oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. He, he got okay. personalized wow. jerseys. This is a, he got this baseball is, jerseys. Exactly. This is Nick's a baseball, baseball jersey. jersey. I had custom done wow. by my man Marquito. Okay. Over in, over in Queens, he hooked this up for me real quick. That's hard. This is an that's official cool base jersey stitched in. You know. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Still with um, how about some kicks? How, how, how you oh, looking on the kicks? Okay, let's go on some kicks. What we got? All right, this whole closet is kicked out. Word. We got some pack new shoes. Wow, packs, okay. And y'all song. You, you and athletics. Packs. You know what I mean? What else we got? Oh, cute. What else we got? I, I'm, a big, I'm a big LeBron sneaker fan. Okay. So yeah. any type of sneaker he puts out in yeah. that colorways. The Cavs colorways, basically all colorways. Exactly. He, he likes yeah. it. He the likes throwback it. throwback Cavs. Yeah. yeah. But we don't even mention that. This is just the next colorway. Yeah, you know what I mean? definitely. And definitely. Uh, I had the pleasure of playing at the garden. Woo! Playing in these. Whoa. The zo- these are zooms. Yeah, the oh, birthday. Bir- the birthday bir- joints. Birthday joints, yeah. Birthday how much did you drop? How much did you drop? These, like, probably about four or five years ago. No, I'm talking about the game. Nah, that was- oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be humble with you. I played twice. Okay. I played okay. twice in the garden. First game, I dropped, like, two points. Had, like, I had a strong you know two, I mean? though. No, you know what? Let me correct myself. I had three points because I had a three. Oh, okay. All right. All right. NBA, NBA three. three. NBA Respect three. them. Respect them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Lefty. yeah. No, okay. Yeah, me too. Me too. Just complete Just hit the frame looking yeah, at three and, and a me solid too. defense. You're good. And I'm good. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I mean? Grabbed a couple of boards. Yeah. You know what I mean? Made a couple of defensive stops. Oh, yeah, okay. Me. Kept yeah. it moving. But statue, it's nothing. Statue. Yeah. It's a statue. nothing like playing in Madison Square Garden. Absolutely. I don't care. If you love basketball and you love to play basketball, there's no place better and to play underneath those lights in Madison Square Garden. That, that's that's what's up, man. That. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. And we're and we going to be organizing something for the fans, too, that's at that. the Garden as well, man. So, y'all yeah, stay man. tuned for it. And, Ryan, I hope, I hope you, oh, yeah, uh, you, know, you join us, man. I'll be right there for that. Absolutely, man. So Absolutely. I'm going to be dropping a strong four points. Watch. <laughs> Watch. And great defense. So that's one. Ooh, okay, phone posits. Yeah. Then, okay. Uh, Orange and blue phone posits. Hold on. What else we got? There we go. That's two. I had to burn twice. It was so nice. Oh, wow. So nice. He bought them Just twice. So Respect them. As you can see, the bottom is like one of them's yellow and then one of them yeah. was okay. crispy. Yeah. So yeah, see, I had the one pair I was wearing you all the time see. and yeah. I had the one pair. You, you know, throw them in the vault. The ice. That's, yeah, that's I've, the I've been there. That's the New York way. You put them in the vault. That's the New York way, man. You put them in the vault. You put them in the vault. Make sure you stay fresh. Shout outs. Okay. All right. Like, Classics. Like, like, you know what I mean? Classics. Only reason why I bought these is when the NBA was being sponsored by Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. You can never wear Nike products with Adidas. Nah, products. you can't. That's Classics. A Classics. Crowd. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're playing in the league and you're sponsored by one of the two. Yeah, yeah. you can't you know do it. I mean? You can't don't do it. Ever, don't I even feel funny like, like just that. walking to the store with like some some Adidas. You know, track pants and some Nike. And some Air Force yeah, I can't do it. Stop doing can't that. Do it. Everybody, it's, 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 listen. Yeah. Stop doing that. Cause we judging you on the low. We judging you. Stop doing Facts. that. No, we not. It's crazy. No, I am. <laughs> we do. We do. We judge you on the high here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. On the highs or highs? Me, me. No. All the way up there. Everybody's on their Puma game. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, Puma's coming back. Okay, Puma's Knox. Coming back. You know, okay, RJ and Secret. Sound like RJ is going to Okay, RJ and Secret. I know y'all see that name right there, Clyde. Okay, shout out to Clyde, man. Shout out to Clyde. So. I saw a guy. Mm-hmm. Kick game is crazy. Yeah. Got a lot, got a lot going on. You know, the ones, Jordan ones. Oh, yeah, those are hard. I, I want those. I think they, they re-releasing them. If I'm are honest. they? I feel like I, I, I seen them the on. Pair, yeah. He's a little beat down. I feel yeah. like it's I seen fire. them. Um, <laughs> are they coming out soon? What else we got? Crazy Eights. Okay, NYC shout out to Kobe. Edition. All right. You know what I mean? Shout out to That's Kobe. Up. Those are He's hard. comfortable as hell. Okay. He's very comfortable. Yeah. Extremely comfortable. What else we got? Oh, yeah, these are these are treasures. 
Rasheed Wallace. Roscoe, Air Force. Oh, yeah, he's all. Oh, Shout out to Sheed. One of my favorite players, definitely. Ball Forever, don't ever. lie. Definitely. Ball, Ball don't, don't lie. lie Sheed showed up at Nick's training camp in sweatpants and walked out with a contract. Yeah. Respect to that, Facts. man. Come on, Facts. man. Facts. Come on, man. Respect to that, man. We got some more LeBrons, you know what I mean? LeBronis. Oh, those are. Those are, yeah. are, are Gout? No, those are not These the Gout. These are the, the, I think they were called the Superhero Edition. Superhero, like okay, that. okay. I forgot which number. I don't remember what number. Yeah. But I know this is like the superhero edition or something like that. Something okay. Like that. All right. You know what I mean? That's a good list. Oh, yeah, we got the uh, flight pot. I got a lot of kids. Yeah. Oh, All right. put some of these down because. Yo, take a look at a couple more. more. <laughs> what else we got? All right. So let's go new school. Oh, yeah. Okay. Flight posits. Flight posits on them. Let's go old school. Oh, oh like which one? Which one? Which one are you going for in the chat? The whites or the blues? Whites man. or blues? Whites or blues? Which Home or away? Yeah, these are H two O's. This yeah, those Houston are the Allen Houston, Houston, Houston joints. Yeah. Respect the H two O. Definitely. So you know we got that. Dope, the, uh, dope. Air Max. Oh, nine eight. eight. The nine eight. Fire. Okay. Fire. Ooh. All there. Those are fire. Those are the ones that just re released. Just re released. Yeah, those are hard. Bro. Those are hard. Yeah, those are hard. I got the Timmons too, but those are in the box for not going to Okay, time. all right. Somebody in the chat asked about the Mellow 8s. He said you ain't got those. Yeah, you know what? I love Mellow, but I'm yeah. going to keep it real with y'all. We're going to keep it real tonight, baby. Uh -oh. Jordan did them dirty. Mellow's sneakers was trash. Yeah, oh. Jordan did them dirty. Oh. MJ did them dirty. Oh. There was no oh. Mellows that I like. And I don't man. understand how Mellow just let that slide. Yeah. I mean, I understand you under Jordan brand. That's cool. It's a blessing to be there. But if your sneaker looks like trash, is it Fires. really worth it? Mm -hmm. Man, I never liked any of the mellows. Any of them. You heard that, Zion? <laughs> <laughs> Zion, you got to stop wearing them. What is he wearing? Them? Those he, nines? Those gray Well, nines? it's going to be the Air Zion soon. We'll see what he comes out with. Word. He looked crazy, too, on them Jordans. I ain't going to yeah. I'm just keeping funky. It's not looking good yeah. right now. So nope. hopefully Jordan blesses him with something. Facts. But, Facts. Um, you know, we got some jackets in here. We got some. Yo, yeah, there was one jacket you had with the patches on it. That was oh, crazy. Oh, oh, this one right here? Yeah. This one? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's tough. This is my baby. Oh yeah. This that's is for, this, this. This is the crown jewel, right? Yeah, absolutely, that's absolutely. That's fire, bro. You know, this is actually a gift from my sister. Shout out to my sister. Aisha. Oh shit, great taste. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, I asked her for it. Oh, she okay. Know about this it. is you hard. This is hard. Hook me up real quick. Forty-six patch. Come on, man. I got patches you never even seen before. This is hard, bro. Hard, hard. Let's get the back. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nicks along the back, down Nicks the sleeves. The back, nah, that jacket is that jacket's fire, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That jacket's fire. Yes, sir. So, you know, there's more jackets in here. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. This is one of my favorites. Right? Yeah, that's oh, hard. Yeah. That's fresh. That's fresh. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. fresh. Yeah. I forgot which anniversary it was. There was an anniversary where they had... Championship? Was it? Yeah, I think it was the 70 and championship they wore those. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, I made it because yeah. I'm the same jacket they do. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, this is my baby right here. Yeah, the chat, the chat was feeling that that blue joint. They were feeling the, the custom one, right? joint. Yeah, yeah, that's just yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just all. Let me show you this one too. My little brother caught me this one. Okay. The Levi joint. denim joint. How's the stream, guys? That's dope. Yeah, you know. That's dope. Like, wonder why the cam is shaking. Stream. Oh, it's because I'm, I'm holding my hand. That's, that's dope. dope. I don't oh, know. this is the dope jacket that. You should, uh, I like oh, checks is that the shooting over stripes. Jackets? Yeah, this is definitely the okay. warm-up jacket. Mm -hmm. Checks over stripes all day, but mm -hmm. it's got it right with this warm-up. This, okay. this is an absolute banger right here. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, nice, yeah, that's nice. nice. That's nice. Crazy. One of my favorites. Shout out to the captain one time. It's my favorite picture of him right here. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's a that, that was a symbolic photo right there. Yeah, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that earlier when Ooh. you were rummaging through Ooh. the jerseys. I got the pearl up there, man. I got the pearl up there, man. And uh, you, I saw your books out there. Did you ever read um, when the garden was eaten? Yeah, I Absolutely. just finished that book. Absolutely. I saw Bro. on your page. Yeah, you read that with yeah, books yeah. That China used to I was too? going to Hong Kong, Hong Kong I didn't, yeah. and I didn't finish it. I just okay. finished it this summer. I didn't finish it either. So yeah, no, yo, you. it's, it's fire. It's fire. I call this yeah. the Spike Lee though. Oh yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Spike Lee, you know what I mean? I think Mitchell and Ness is going to re-release this at some point. Okay, okay. I yeah, I feel it. like i seen Spike wearing that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, all the time. this yeah. is definitely Spike Lee right here. That's dope. So, you know, Spike work. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Word. Hit that thumbs up button for your boys. My man Ryan with the man cave. Yep. All right, man. Well, let's, uh, let's chop it up, man. Yeah, yeah man. Let's do that. So, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to uh, just head out to the, uh, to the living room. Just chop it up. Take your, your questions from the chat. 
Uh, chop it up on some Knicks real quick. Shout out to everybody in the chat once again. Hit that thumbs up on the video, boys. Hey, listen, we had a little technical difficulties earlier. When you're going live, you guys notice, man, when you're going live, technical difficulties are always expected. These things happen. You got to bear with us, man. We always try to, you know, bring excellence to the uh, to the program. So uh, I think we're back now. Connection's good. You guys always let us know whether the audio is not good, the video is not good, and, and we'll try to fix that. Uh, how we looking, Dave? How we looking? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Dave. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dave. We got Dave in the building. Yeah. You know yeah, what Dave look like? That been in it, boy. That boy. Yeah. That boy. <laughs> yeah uh, Smoking Blue says, are you guys going to cover some of the FIBA World Cup games? Um, the Frank ones, yeah. I mean, the USA ones, I guess we can, but the, the team is so decimated. Um, you know, I'll, yeah. well, we're definitely going to be in on the Frank ones yeah. for sure. Greg wanted to know, don't you have a ton of uh, human sneakers as well? No, nah, that's that's my man's uh, hoodie vintage on Instagram. He's oh, a, shout out, yeah, shout out hoodies the, uh, vintage, man. He's shout out hoodies vintage. Man. Man. Okay. He's the Patrick Ewing man, yo. He has yeah. a whole room. Shout out hoodies vintage, man. Ewing, and yo, sit. Got oh, me on that. We might be there next, man. So shout right. out hoodie vintage. That's a fact. Man. Facts. 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 Um, yo, we we gotta show him the tap, bro. Oh, we got yeah, yeah, now that we here. Oh yeah. Come on, man. This this is why we came. Dedication. I ain't putting no lotion yeah, on nah, it. Nah, it's all good, man. Don't worry, man. This is authentic, man. Nah, you think you a fan? This is authentic. My man Ryan put it in ink, man. Absolutely. If you ain't Come putting on, it in ink, Absolutely. you're not a real Knicks fan. That's what he, he just called out everybody in the you chat. You think you're a fan? You're not a fan. He just said, you if you didn't put it in ink, where's your Knicks tattoos? Where's your Knicks tattoos, man? Where is it? Get your Knicks tattoos. Yeah, man. Put your ink where your mouth is. So, if you love tats and you a diehard Knicks fan, there's no reason for you not to have Knicks tattoos. Hey, that's it. That's it, bro. This man will never trade his fandom to go to the Lakers. No, absolutely not. Never, man. Absolutely. All right, let's set up the, not like, not like the uh, yeah, no, no. Let's set up the shot. Dave, keep me honest on the, on the battery. Nice, not that nice. Oh, oh, I would oh, never oh, allow oh, him to be that type. Oh, you know what I mean? That would never happen. Man, never. if you can do a Lakers tight, you trash. That's right. <laughs> uh, this is me, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just holding whatever. All right, man. Oh. Dave, how are we, how are we looking on the video? You guys are looking good. Let me tilt a little bit this mm -hmm. way. You're perfect. Right. There you go. Shout out to the chat, man. There's not a lot of y'all in here. Probably come All right, so, um, <laughs> man, off season's over. Yes, thank God. Training camp successful. is uh, a month away. Yes. How did you feel about... Whether you want to call it a strikeout, whether you want to call it not hitting on our targets, how did you feel about uh, not, you know, hitting on plan A but, but going elsewhere? It was stressful. Very stressful, though. I mean, just as a Knicks fan, we go through a lot of trials and tribulations. And that was just like the tip of the iceberg. It was like, come on, like, again, we didn't get Zion. Yeah. We didn't get Katie. Mm -hmm. We didn't get Kyrie. We didn't get anybody who we thought we were going to get. Yeah. You know what I mean? But on the bright side, we got some hustles. Yeah, we got some what, real grinders right, right now. Got some dogs. I, mean? I think Julius Randle understands the situation. Mm -hmm. Peyton understands the situation. Everybody understands what's going on right now, and they hungry. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's middle of July. They're working out with chains, yeah. 50 pound chains. Right <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. I like, uh, I like um, that they get the chemistry together. Like you said, we yep. have smarter players. We have players that, that's going to run through brick walls. Yep. Um, character, high character players. Yep. Tough, no to the, to, the, to the pavement players. Um, so I like it. You know, I like it. Obviously, I was disappointed that, that we didn't cash in. Yeah. Obviously, after 17 win game season, we wanted something to, to really you know, perk it up. The media hype, how could you not, exactly. you know, buy exactly. into it? it? It was hard not to, but... You know, I'm, I'm good with where we going. I think at the very least, you have a lot of these guys, you can consider them on a one-year rental. Mm -hmm. Julius Randle, to me, is more the player that you want to see, okay, can he finally find a home with the Knicks? Yeah, you know what I mean? I think he can. I, I think so. I think, yeah. I think so. I think the biggest word for this season is grit. Yeah. There's a lot of grit. There's a lot of hunger. There's a lot of attitude. I'm talking old-school 90s Knicks basketball. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't come in the paint. You come in the paint. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt. Don't come in. <laughs> okay? okay? 
Yeah. Hey, 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 that's the sound. Everything that's goes back. Yeah, they're saying good. It's a little static, but it might be the fans or something. Oh, but they, they said know. they hear your you voice. You hear that, man? If you come in the paint, okay. get in the courtesy and elbow. Maybe you yours true. Don't worry. Maybe cut that. Sorry for that one. Yo, just let us know how the audio is in the chat. Cause, um, they said they can hear you guys clearly, but there's some background noises. Oh, yeah, it's probably it's yeah. It's it's yeah. It's right. I'll say that. Let us know if, it, if it's any better now. Chat, how you, is everything over, over here good in the chat, man? Noise good? Um, so, yeah, so we got random. You know, I think I think the only thing you got to look out for is <laughs> when you bring in so many guys that's on kind of short-term deals, obviously the nature of man. A lot of these guys are going to be con concerned about getting to the next one. You know, they want home jeopardy, they want security themselves and their families. How do you, you know, buy into the team, but at the same time still get yours because you want to showcase yourself? You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you want to get yours, this is the time to prove it. Yeah. You got this one year, two year contract, bust your ass. Show us that you want to be here. You know what I mean? And if you're looking for longevity, and you see the love that Knicks fans give these players. Yeah. We give y'all mad love. We stand behind y'all 100%. Yeah. So when you come out and you play full throttle and you give them everything you got, you're going to get our respect. True. You're going to get a contract with extension. You're going to find a home. You're good here. The, you know the, I mean? the only kind I'll say for that is when you are on a one or two year contract, the team basketball thing can get a little iffy. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're trying to go yeah. for your points, but yeah. you're like, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to be. Next I'm getting year. mine, I'm getting my points, getting my rebounds. Yeah. And sometimes you might tend to be a little selfish, but hopefully these Knicks are playing for each other. And that's why. A little selfishness is not bad. Look yeah. at Kobe Bryant. <laughs> if, if we have a Kobe Gallo play, you know I, mean? I think I think that's so, one of the areas where we're gonna struggle. Is what do you mean the Maple Mama? Rand Randall will be the guy. <laughs> is that, is that the that Maple was, Mama? Maple Mama. Maple Mama. Maple Mama. Shout out to RJ. Yeah, yeah how do you feel about RJ? Yeah, I'm RJ. impressed. Yeah. His whole stature, his whole demeanor, just speaks Knicks legend to me. Like, he's going to be a Knicks legend. I already mm. know it. He's not going nowhere. He's staying here. He, yeah. He's on that same caliber as like Willis Reed. He has that same composure and just stature. Yeah. You know, I'm here. I'm here to bowl. So I, I, I think he, he has a solid foundation to him with his pops being playing professionally yep. at St. John's. He went to St. John's as well. Steve Nash is now yep. father. Yep. Yep. You know, so he definitely has that pedigree behind him. A solid family upbringing. He's so, gonna work hard, and I like what you hear from. Him. Like he knows he has weaknesses and deficiencies that he's got to work on. But he's coming in with no ego. Yeah. You know, he's 18 right. years old. He speaks like he's 25. Right. So I, I like that. I like that. About, uh, How about, um, did you watch Iggy at all in the summer league? What was that? Yeah, uh, Iggy. Uh, oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ignatius. I like him. Yeah. I like him. I think, he, I think he has a lot of character to him. Mm -hmm. I think he also has some grit to him. He plays hard. So I'm cool. I'd like to see some more. Yeah. We'll see what happens this season. We'll but season. as for right now, he missed the pass. I'm yeah. cool. Yeah. cool. That was a good pickup. It's going to be hard for him to get some minutes. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say It's going to be hard for him to get minutes, but why rush him? Exactly. You know, he's a guy, to me, you could even put him in the D League for a little while, G League. Yep. Because you're still going to have Morris at the three. You're going to have yep. Knox at the three. You're going to have to uh, put Bulletin at the three. Or maybe, you know, not have to, but you would figure those three guys are already. Iggy would have to have a, a huge preseason leaps and bounds yeah. better than, you know, Knox. And I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't know. But, I don't again, like you said, push come to shove, send them to the G League. Let them grow, yo. Let them grow. Because yeah. the problem with the Knicks, we get these young players, man, we get rid of them ASAP. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get rid of Frank. I'm sorry. It's something y'all don't hate. Uh oh. Here comes the hate. Here comes the hate. Here comes the hate. Frank should have been in the G League. A minute ago. And he you said you called us on it. I, I, was, I called into the show and I told y'all that Frank should be in the G League. And y'all looked at me like I was crazy. When was this? When was this? This, when this was might this? have been early in the season. Was this early in the season? This might have been early in the season. I'm not going to lie. It was probably like November or something. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It was definitely early in the season. In our defense, we thought he was actually going to get yeah, minutes. Yeah, no, y'all was playing for him, man. I was going to unfollow y'all. Yeah. Something got me crazy. My thing was, I think last year especially, was the time to really, whether or not he earned it, was the time to really throw him out there and see what you had. Exactly. This Moody yeah. experiment, as we see now, is a complete waste of time. Facts. I'm not going to lie, I like Moody. He towards, was, towards the end of the season, not right. the beginning, but yeah. towards the end of the season, I became a fan of Moody. See, I think the whole thing is just so confusing because, to me, I've always said, 
they're not confident in Frank, and that's why they brought Moody in to begin with. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? If they felt Frank was truly the building block at the point guard, they would have never brought up Trey Burke. They would have never brought up Moody. You know, the DSA trade, maybe they would have went somewhere else. I don't know. So I still think they're not even sure what to do with him. But I felt like, yeah, but I felt like last year was a time to, like, throw him out, throw him against the Wolves. But the thing with Frank is, like, he not, he's, he's not showing that up. You know what I mean? He's not... He's not too soft. Experience. I hate to say it like that. That's the only word I can think of. He's too soft right now. He really has to step up. You gotta let his balls drop. Start attacking the basket. <laughs> start shooting, uh, man. Like, come on. Like. See, I, I think he, he's still in that Europe, France yeah. system type basketball. So uh, it now that means is can Fisdale and company? What type of system are they gonna throw out there? You know. But do you really don't... think like he's like a? Uh, uh, a central piece right now? You think they focus on Frank, or you think they just... I don't think they are focused on Frank. Yeah, I don't think I don't they focus on Frank. Well, obviously, bring it in. You, you're paying them, paying 10 million, right? Yeah. You're paying yeah. 10 million. Yeah. You got DSA who's ready. He looks like he's oh, ready yeah, for yeah, a yeah, good yeah. third year. Oh, my God. I'm it's hoping. I'm rooting for DSA. Yeah, I'm rooting for DSA. You know, um, so I don't think Frank is priority. I think he's going to have to earn his way up in back in order. And we'll see. Like I said, FIBA, I'm, I'm going to be looking to see what he's been doing. I mean, first couple of games, he's been okay. Yeah. More downs than ups, but the thing with Frank, I think, is defense is solid. Yeah. That's the only thing, though. What yeah. else is solid? Nothing. The, shoot, exactly. the shooting ain't really, ain't he's, really he's there. Suspect. The shooting ain't really there. The passing is suspect because he don't know when to pass. You he's too I mean? timid, Frank. He, he's too timid. He's Perfect too word. Timid. Too timid. Too timid. I will say this. I feel, I feel like Frank needs the right pieces to, to, to be a good passer. Okay. I feel like when he I, I feel yeah. like when he was playing in FIBA, he's four he's little four games. Mm-hmm. He's been passing all right. He's been hitting people on the pick and roll. He's been running the offense pretty well. And I just think you just need he just needs more experienced players who knows how to cut and knows where to go so he can really showcase his passing. Because that man, first year, that's man, that's that first year when Frank came to the mix the and he was throwing. Uh, full court passes between two players and hit people in stride for layups. Everybody was like, oh, oh this won't be legit. This is going to be legit. And he was throwing alley oops for Zingas. Everybody yeah, was like, yo, this is going to be lit. Is that, but is that fan all the way up? Or yeah, it's all the way up. All the way up. But Frank didn't, Frank didn't get the yeah. get the touches last season, and I don't know. I, I, he didn't get this. the love, man. He didn't get the love. He didn't get you the know love what the coach. I'll tell you what the love is. The love is in the G League. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this season it might be with Alfred, with, with Alfred Payton and PSJ here. You might even go to the G League, bro. Like, I don't see the big deal. That's why, that's why the G League is there. Yeah. Develop. See, Develop I, and grow, bro. I feel like it should be used in that way, but I also feel like there's a stigma in, in throwing your top draft pick down. To the minor league, I don't know. I just always felt like, but like, if you deserve teams to be thrown down, down, then you need to be thrown down. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Like, it's not a good look. He's yeah. a top pick, right? He's going to the G right, League. Right. But if he's not ready, but you see the potential, that's why you drafted him so high. Yeah. Let him develop, yo. Sit him down there, let him chill out. Westchester is cool. I go to those games. <laughs> yeah, you know man, I mean? yo. Westchester is mad cool. Yeah. Just go down there and chill out and just. Bro, you game, you know? At the very least, we need to do him like he did Dotson, where, you know, hey, we're, we're having these one games. We know you're not getting tons of minutes. Oh, man. Throw to the G League. Yeah. Then come back with the team. Yeah. And just in case we need you. Right. At, yeah. least, at least that. Right. Minimal. Because I would prefer not to get rid of Frank. I like Frank. Yeah, I, I see his potential. Yeah. Again, he's just too timid right now. And he has to step up and step it up. play that grown man step ball. Up. That's what we need. Uh, how are we looking in the chat? What, what's the chat's comment so far, man? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Once Word. Again. Yo. Hit that thumbs up Shout out. for you boys. Yeah, man. People and are wondering who's going to start at two. Mm. Mm. Arjun. We're going Arjun. Arjun? Yeah, we're going Arjun. You think who, who's going to start at two? Oh, you going? Ah, oh, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't Arjun. I mean, that's not... I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not he's Arjun. going. I'm not but saying who's he's not. back him up? Because you know he's not... He's he, not it's, it's still early. It's still early. You know what I mean? We have, we have. So who's coming off the bench for RJ at two spots? To me, it has to be ISO. Okay. To me, ISO has to be a second unit, instant offense from the perimeter. Yep. yep. And then you come with either Knox at the three, uh, you go Portis and, and Taj. Yeah, with, 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 with Alfred yeah. As, yeah. as a backup point. Yeah. I think that's a 10-man rotation. How y'all feel about ISO, though? 
That's my guy. I love Iso. I love Iso. That's my guy. Man. That's my yeah. guy. Iso was un- I felt like Iso was underrated by Knicks fans. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But I, you know what? Let me take that absolutely back. I feel we appreciate him a lot. I don't think he really got the love that he should have at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's a difficult situation with Iso, but he's the man also in short. Mm-hmm. I'm happy to have him, mm-hmm. and I hope he stays, and yeah. I hope he grows, and we don't get rid of him. I, that's I, that's I, a lot of potential. I hope he stays, man. That's a lot of potential. I like, I like that instant offense guy yeah. off the bench. I think he's a solid, solid bench. That's that energy. That Lou Williams role. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I feel like he could definitely use that. And, and like I said, that's that's my backup. I think he has the potential to grow out that Lou Williams role, though. Like, to you think he can start? Like yeah. Shit started. Like nah, he shit always, started. I always, yo, I'm, yeah, I, I, I don't, started. I don't underestimate ISO because, like, I keep saying, I did like an episode a while ago that t- broke down stats. ISO is the only one who actually had like NBA stats, forty percent from three, yeah. Yeah. Shout 40, out, shout like forty five percent from the field. Yeah. Like everybody else yeah. on our team on our squad don't have NBA shooting guard stats. Everybody right. else is like, oh, we're we're still learning. Right. But that's, <laughs> right. that, that goes back to my point with RJ. Why would there's no reason for him not to start? That's true. You know what I'm because saying? Because the other people can actually. There's no reason for him not to. Start. No, there is a reason. It's the reason. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the debate that's been happening all the summer. I understand what you're yeah. balancing the lineup, but to me, you got to let talent prevail. Absolutely. You got to let talent prevail Absolutely. and let him and DSJ figure it out. Absolutely. That's true. I agree with that. You know, you know what I mean? That's, I do wonder if the organization is happy with ISO's attitude. You know what I mean? Because he has that feistiness. I like that, though. I man. love it. I, I As like fans, that. we love that. But yeah. I'm talking about upper management for the organization. Yeah. You know, sometimes that can backfire. Yeah. Me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's funny because, like, it's, it sucks when people have that attitude, but it's mm-hmm. also you realize that all the greatest players have, have that, attitude. that attitude. Absolutely. <laughs> so Absolutely. It's, like, it's a double edged sword. Yeah. Yeah, it's all like about that. when you let the attitude out. When yeah. you let these things like yeah. ISO, you got to tone it down a little bit. Yeah. I feel, once you show people what you're about, let that out. Let it out. Let it out. I agree. I agree. I feel like when he gets older, Oh, and he's gonna be able to harness it and it's know old. when to really bring it it's out old. and when to release the dragon. Did you know, the season opening last year against Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. just ran through and just. It's ah, it's just it's fierce, man. I saw it's it's fierce. Fierce. Like, That's what. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sparks yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sparks People in my chat are saying, y'all be forgetting about that. I'm not forgetting. I love Dax. You don't like Dax? No, I do like him. I'm saying no to forgetting about him. Yeah, no, it's not bad. I think the camp battle is between those two to who. Is the first yeah. shooting guard off the bat, but no one Fisdale, he may flip flop it on any given night depending on what he needs. If, he, if we need more defensive stops, we need more offense, more of explosiveness. You know, so I, I can see yeah. Fisdale flip flopping. Yeah. I just hope he sticks to a steady. How you feel about Fisdale? Um, because I always say, you know, last year his coaching style was very weird, mm-hmm. erratic, kind of erratic, <laughs> erratic. Constant lineup changes, yep. you know, whether you could question whether or not he coached to win certain games, yeah. certain game scenarios. Yeah. Tim Hardaway guarding uh, the best off right player in the last right. seconds yeah. of the game. Yeah. So, <laughs> to me, at times, it looked like a stealth tank. Yeah. It looked like a stealth tank. Yeah. Because it just seemed like training camp extended into <laughs> the season. Exactly. And exactly. It, it just winning wasn't necessarily the priority. It was really just seeing getting the young guys' experience and see what we have, which is okay. Yeah. Yeah. But then it's like, we don't really know who you are either yeah. because there was no identity established. Yeah. There was, you know, I'm not a basketball coach, but the system, you just didn't see it there yeah. night in, night out basis. All we knew is that all the players love Fizdale. You know what yeah. I mean? Everybody loves, as far as the players go, they right. all love Fizdale. This right. is cool with me because okay. we need a coach that the players are actually going to respond to. That's a fact. Yeah. You don't need yeah. nobody pushing yeah. them like, Pushing nobody like Joe Keen, Noah, and Jeff Hornacek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need that. Well, right? I, I think what we're seeing now is like, look at Tibbs. Tibbs is going. Probably will be never be back in the league because I think yeah. his, his style is old school. Yeah. And even though I had advocated for Van Gundy before for his, because I just felt like with the young guys we had, I, I like that old school yeah. style. But it just seems like they're going younger. They're going more with relationships yeah. and letting you know the analytics and everything else. Yeah. So, you know, every season that. is always something different. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that'll that'll contribute to who's staying, who's going, just based off the, the chemistry of the NBA itself. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. The game changes every season. Changes. Every season changes. 
Uh, I feel like we still don't really know who Vince Dale is just because his coaching resume is very short. Mm -hmm. He ain't been an assistant coach for a very long time, but as a head coach, he came here with one and a half years experience at Memphis. Yeah. That's not that much. You, yeah. you don't really know. Yeah, a lot of those guys in Memphis are holdovers for Lionel Hollins. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that first year, they, I believe they did make the playoffs. Did the they make it to Memphis? I don't know. I don't Maybe so. yeah. Don't quote me on that. Yes, they did. They did. They did. Yes, they did. That Wasn't it the check that for data pool? Yeah, that's right. The that's playoffs. right. They did the make the playoffs. They, they did make the playoffs. Yeah. And, and the defense was again highly, highly touted. But again, I don't know if that was the best based on the plays that they had or that was Fizz. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, what, what, so. what you can say about Fizz is when he was Memphis, he was forward thinking, and um, I think. He was, at that time, he was kind of young in the way he was approaching players, and he kind of grew into the, the, the guy he loves. He is now where he's trying to, like, you know, manage people's personality. But yeah. before, he was ahead of the curve. He's like, yo, Marcus Gasol, shoot the three. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. He's the reason why he over there at the Raptors, I'm um, shooting threes now. Shoot is because right. Thank you, Fizdale, right? The, the Fizdale, um, yeah, Raptors flashed, they Fizdale. They flashed over. They flashed yeah, they over, flashed but over. at the end of the day, he was right. Yeah, and he right. also helped... Uh, Mike Conley get his game together too, to help him get to the, get to the hole with more of these. So yeah. I feel like Fizz has some things that he's good at. He just needs the pieces to showcase that he's and actually that, and that's why shown. To, to close out the question, that's why I'm giving him the four years. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it's too much turnover, whether it's the roster, front office, coach. You just don't have any continuity in any aspect of the organization. No. We have to keep the coach, man. It, there's no player here. That's that's gonna take us to the championship right now. Yeah. Let the coach develop his job. players. Let him grow with the young guy, grow together. See what the system is gonna be. See what the at the the, the um, you know what our, our our attitude is gonna be. See what our aura is gonna be. What we're gonna bring to the guard. And then, and after the four years, I'm gonna say okay. Mm -hmm. we'll stay we'll work out. Yeah, exactly. Yo, my child Wallen saying we getting younger. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what child is that? I had a question. So I was <laughs> Uh, people are asking, what do you guys think uh, Julius Randle average points wise? Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, he averaged twenty one and eight last year. Twenty and eight last year. Yeah. I would have to say a continuation of it. He's exactly. going to be the number one option. Hey, that's what he's going to go up. Twenty two. I, I was going to yeah. say he's probably going to go up. Twenty two. Because he's number one right now. He's going to be number one. He's the number one option. So he's definitely going to go up. Past twenty one. I give him twenty four. I'm gonna give him twenty four. Okay. okay. Twenty four. I give him. I feel a strong twenty four. I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah. If he comes yeah. out every night and do that, cool. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. But he's definitely number one option. So that average yeah. is definitely going up. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna say twenty two. I'm gonna say strong twenty two. Twenty four okay. tops. Yeah. Twenty four tops. tops. Twenty four tops. But I'm gonna go with twenty two. I'm going with 22 yeah. eight and a half. Eight <laughs> <laughs> you know what, too? Because you know what's going to happen. They're going to have Randall yeah. in there. He's going to be having competing with Mitch dropping these balls right here. We're going to yeah. be a demon on the boys this I year. mean, I think the high percentage shots he's going to get to me, where I'm really going to watch him is from the three point. Okay. Can he spread the floor yeah. and, and, and create that nice space in the head? That would be love. But they're not crowding each other. You know what I mean? If we can spread the floor, yeah. come on, stop. Yeah. That's. Come on. He shot about, I believe he shot 34% from three last year. Yeah, last I, think was, I think it was 35. 35. 35 feet he, average. If he get up that a little bit, it would be in good shape. Yeah. yeah, and good news is I think he was at 30 or before the year before that. So he's yeah. showing progress. He's, yeah. The thing about Randall is he he's improved every season he's every played. Season. Mm -hmm. he's so. He works on his game, obviously, because he's walking around his game with his shirt off and chains on. Chains. Chain. So, <laughs> chain, yeah. Chain, yeah. so you know he's working hard. He doesn't walk right. around with chains with on chains his chest. For no reason. Yeah. I mean, no he lets you want to flex for the gram. You know how that That's goes. true. That is, but, I mean, the abs came with the chains. Nah, unless, the, working, right? unless the abs came off with the chains, yeah. then I think he's working hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that next question, Dave. Uh, who do you guys want to get more minutes, Kadeem Allen or Frank? I would go with Frank Kadeem Allen. I'm going with Frank. I'm going with Kadeem. I'm you, I'm, listen, I love Frank. Frank is cool. Frank is cool, but bro, you're not showing me nothing. You're not showing me what I need for me to sit here on this show right now <laughs> and say that he's going to get more minutes than Kadeem Allen. I like. Kadeem. I feel like with Kadeem, I like Kadeem. He has some good spots coming up from Westchester last year. Yeah. I just feel like we kind of. I don't see him getting any better. I just feel like he's twenty Frank getting better. Not necessarily, but I feel like I'd rather see if, if he can. You know, at 20, I think we've at, had at, enough at 19, time to years. see that, though. I don't think we've had enough time to see that, though. He played 43 games last, though. He only played a half a season. Listen, I, see, I, I agree with you in that he has had enough time, but I don't think they're going to give him the time. 
You got an NBA, it's next man up. Bro. That's what I'm saying. You, you know gotta saying? perform, bro. You if you gotta suit up bro. and you're on that court, yeah. you gotta show your ass. They owe six home. million dollars next year. I agree with you, but you know what it is? Not that not that not that Frank is better than Kandine overall right oh, now. Yeah. It's just that we we have more money invested in Frank. Yeah, Frank so we, see, see we, we have to see what's up. I like it, Dean. I like it, Dean, but I, I'd rather see what Frank can do first. I'd like to see Frank in Westchester. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd like to see. Frank throwing lobs to uh Frank, to, I love uh, you, man. You, you're great. Yeah. You're cool. Frank you're throwing lobs cool. to Wooten. Kenny Wooten. Kenny Wooten. Wooten. There you go. I was about to say Tony Wooten. Kenny Wooten. <laughs> Those tickets are like $12. That's yeah. love. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we got next? Uh, you might have said this already, Ryan, but they want to hear your starting five. My starting five. Yeah. Oh boy! How we oh, looking on the audio God. too? Let us know how we all on the audio. But things got uh, better. They said the fan lower than that helped. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. 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 It's hot in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. It's hot. Summertime. My starting five. Though. Oh man, that's that's a good question. I never even sat down and thought about that. Yet. But I already know uh, we got Knox out there. We got Julius Randle out there. Um, who else we got out there? Damn. Throw some names out. Mitch Robinson. Oh, yeah, of course. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. Damn. Black Nets Monsters. Don't forget about Mitch. How you man, Mitch. Yeah. Mitch, if you're watching this by any chance, I sincerely <laughs> apologize. <laughs> you I'm, a, Mitch? I'm a big fan. Mitch, you're doing your thing. So Mitch is definitely out there. That's three so far. Yeah. yeah, we said Randall. Randall's okay. out there. Mm-hmm. Randall, Knox, Mitch. Who we got guard, starting? Oh, uh, Dennis Smith, of yeah, course. Dennis Smith. Definitely okay. starting. Okay. Um, who we are we going to put Dennis at the one or the two, though? One. That's the one. one. That's not right? no, He hasn't even proved yeah. that he can shoot yeah, outside two. of exactly. his Instagram exactly. videos. Exactly. Exactly. Not saying he, he, he can. Like, so who are we going to put at two, though? That's the question. I'm, I'm doing the RJ experiment first. And if it don't work. I think that's the best route to go. That's you right. know what I mean? For right now, yeah. let's put RJ at two, Dennis at one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and and I'm going to say somebody, shout out to Terry. Shout out to Terry. Terry Ten- No, he's not. Oh, he's not in there. Oh, okay. But he's like people are sleeping on Wayne Ellington. He's saying people are sleeping on Wayne Ellington. Yeah, he's I'm a great, sleep. A great three point shooter. Yeah, I'm a great three point shooter too. <laughs> are, are you? You got Phil? Really Come on, I got mad for you. Finally on the sleepers. <laughs> 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 I'm mean, right. right. said he got jumpers for days. Come on, man. man. I'm lucky oh, lefty man. all day. It's nothing. It's oh, like lucky me. left. Oh, I'm just waiting for him to pass me a contract real quick. I think my five is same as yours. I'm I'm going RJ. Yeah, I, I know agree with that. I it agree. may not be a perfect fit in the beginning. Like I said, to me, that two talented guards work yeah. it out. Yeah. You know, DSJ, Mitch, Gotham, Lob, all day. That's going to be the first play of the game that we run the season opener against the Celtics on Cannon's head. Yeah. Right on Cannon's head. That's how we're going to oh, set yeah. the tone. Yeah. Gotham, Lob on him. Um, I'm just saying, last time Randall faced Canton, he dropped 45. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> I'm just, he's, he's gonna bully. just he's saying. Gonna Randall's he's going gonna, off. It's going to be a battle of wills. So right? Let me say match. this. Yeah. Respect to Canton, yo. I'm a, I'm a Canton fan, yo. I respected him when he was in the orange and blue. Everybody wants to be iffy about it. Canton, I respect you. Thank you for coming through. You kissing the floor was a little extra. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. A yes. little extra. Yes. But you're still my guy. First year through. Canton. Great. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Tenacity. He brought that warrior mentality yeah. in, in, in the uh, millennial age. Second year, it was too much wine and it. You know what too it was, much though? I think all that political stuff that was going on, well, I think that, that was too, huge. That, too, you know? that, that, was, that was definitely yeah. affecting his game. That was affecting his whole mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, again, I am a cancer fan. So. I give him credit for handling that. Yeah. that personal, yeah, yeah, I give him credit for handling that. But I think yeah. the basketball part of it, I thought he threw us under the bus too many times. I thought he threw Vizdale under the bus. Just complaining after the games, you know. Keep that, you got to keep that in, in yeah, house. Because yeah, yeah, that's how, yeah. you know, things start to spiral out of control. Yeah. You saw Fizz kind of did what he got, had to do, kind of feeling like Fizz kind of blackballed him. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Kind of, you know, it just, it just mm-hmm. even though he had to. He, he, yeah, he did. He did. He so, Cancer like my, my Cancer merch, so shout, shout out to Cancer. Yeah, well, he, uh, <laughs> he he did repost a couple of our jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. My phone case and yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will say the same thing that, that CP said. Yeah. You know, I was a cancer. I was I was defending cancer for the longest, and then when he started complaining to the media and yeah. kind of demanding a trade on camera, I was like, oh man, you're making it hard for me out here in these streets, cancer. Yeah, <laughs> He's making it hard for me. Yeah. Just, I, I see you, cancer. I saw you at least. Back. Now you want this back. I, I, yeah. I don't hate cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that 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 I don't hate cancer, but. I, I was I was definitely annoyed. I hate Jerome James. Oh, yep, that's that's I hate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bring you back. <laughs> you know what you say? 
I said I, I said Jerome James. I said I hate Jerome James. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Please, please. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's a bad thing. Yeah, no, no, I'm not even going to say nothing. Facts, facts, God bless him. Yeah, man. Have a good day, bro. Um, let's, go, let's go now in the chat. And then what time is it right now? Uh, we got 9 o'clock. Okay, yeah, let's go another in the chat, and then we'll, we'll go wrap it All right, so people are asking, what should the roles for Bobby Portis and Marcus Morris be? I like Marcus Morris yeah. more than Bobby Portis, quite honestly. See, I was saying, in the beginning, I was saying, okay, start Knox just to see, you know, second-year progressions, yeah. but if Marcus Morris is only in a one-year deal, yeah. I'd rather let him, let him get the bulk of the minutes. He right? brings more balance to the lineup. Somebody that you know what you're going to get on both yeah. ends. That you know that can spread the floor for you more consistently. Mm -hmm. And then you see it. The trade deadline, you see, okay, so he's, going he's available. What you got? Can right. we get a first round pick, low end, out of him? Can we get a, a younger piece, uh, you know, whether, whether it's in the front court or the back court? Mm -hmm. um, more defensive minded. Uh, so I, I would go with Morris at the start. I would go with Morris at the start. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him start, but I feel we need to give Knox his time. You know, right? That's, you know yeah, I, mean? I agree Knox, with that. Knox leads to a... Uh, because Knox is, is, is nice. He's nice. He's, yeah. just, he's nicer than Frank. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let him, let him show. More promise to me. Exactly. Exactly, way more promise than Frank. Mm -hmm. um, so I would still probably go with Knox starting over Morris. I, do, I would like to see Morris get some good minutes. Okay. But I would definitely have Knox starting over Morris. I'm, I'm going, you know, I, I'm going more so than Knox. Everybody's my, my, my starting five. I'm mm -hmm. going more so than Knox. Offense, defense, two-way player. Yeah. Knox is showing some some promise. He shows some promise in some league. He showed that he can move the ball better. Yeah. Um, he's even tried a little bit more on defense, but I feel like Morris' experience is going to edge him. Defense. Knox. Defense. Defense. Especially. Defense. Yeah. Especially. Definitely. Especially the and IQ, right? I, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I feel like he's gonna show Knox ropes a little bit. And you yeah. know what? Even yeah. though he, if he, even if he does start, it's gonna be more about minutes, man. Like yeah. Morris hasn't been playing thirty minutes a game, so it's, it's probably gonna be half play split with the minutes anyway. Yeah. When yeah. You think about it, it's gonna be I feel like from an IQ standpoint, having uh, Morris out there can kind of bring that little balance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That balance, like. A lot of these guys are wild, man. DSJ wild. Like, yeah. Mitch is not really together. RJ can be up and down, you know. I said DSJ, so I think Mars can kind of bring that, that veteran stability to the lineup. What Lance was doing, but way better. Yeah, so, I mean, well, way better. Woo. I forgot Ten times. Times. Yeah. 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 Times yeah. better. All the fame levels better. Right, right. I forgot what article I was, I was reading. I was reading an article about the effect of the, the Andre Jordan had on the squad, and it was talking about. Fizz was able to run more complicated offenses and defenses with when DeAndre Jordan was here because yeah. he's a veteran, he's used to seeing different schemes, right. and and so he's used to playing more different more different schemes on offensive defense. And I feel like that's the effect that these veterans are going to have on our squad. Yeah. And I feel like that's that particularly why. to me, Morris and Taj. Exactly. Morris and Taj. Definitely, definitely so I think Taj. we're going to be able to run more complicated offenses and defenses, and the kids will be able to learn from them and. If even if Morris gets traded by a uh, trade deadline, I think he'll serve his purpose. He'll get good. Knox will get better, just like um, Mitchell Robinson got better when DeAndre got it. And how about Portis? What do you think about Portis? Portis? I'm rooting for Portis, man. I'm rooting for Portis. I, I read that article on him talking about how hard he's been working. He's lost weight trying to play better defense. Mm -hmm. um, he's, got, he's another one who's, who's improved um, every year. The three point shot. He's been shooting pretty. I think he's shooting close to forty percent. Right, right. Yeah, forty percent. Which is oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, and so we're and knowing that the Knicks were last or like next to last in the league in three point mm -hmm. percentage, mm -hmm. he's gonna serve a great purpose, stretching the floor and opening up lanes for people like uh, Dennis Smith Jr. and all our guards when we get and shoot. Right. Yeah, I, I think he he was the one piece that I was like, definitely. He did crowd the rest of it because, like I said, you got Mitch at the five, you got. Randall, who I think at some points you could play at the small ball five, mm -hmm. especially if you stretch that floor. Yeah. You know, you could play Randall at the five, um, and then Morris at the four. You may need Knox at the four. So, so I thought Portis was a little extra, but I think the fact that he can spread the floor, you'll need him at some stretches to get some offensive fire. Now, defense, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I like that he, he's, a, he's a hard worker. I like that he's going to bring that physicality on his attitude. But he might have been the extra piece that's, I mean, word. Word. 
And, and RJ is Jamaican, he's Haitian, so you know, Caribbean, <laughs> and, 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 that's it, man. How y'all feel about Mitch, though? Like, because I feel like we're not shutting enough light on Mitch. Oh, I love Mitch. Mitch. I love, love Mitch. This is going to be a season, I feel it. We not yeah. shedding yeah. enough light on Mitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. There you go. Um, I, I love Mitch. I feel like the point guard, I feel like DSJ, it's up to DSJ to make him better. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see his independence on the offensive side of the ball like we want to see it. I don't know if that's going to be his game. But it's definitely not there yet. You're gonna have to set him up, the lobs, the putbacks, the rebound. You know what I mean? Defense is obviously gonna be his calling card, and I think He's that'll be there. there. That's, that's and we just wanna see one. some more discipline from the yeah. defense. Yeah. Where's the three, man? Where is the three uh, in some of these dogs? He said he was working on it all season. Yeah, and he ain't shooting that one damn near three this whole yeah, summer yeah, league, yeah, man. Shoot the three, dog. Shoot the shooting when you open. I don't even think I wanted to shoot the three, but honestly. It's just like, let's let somebody else do it. Let's let somebody else do it. We got a whole lot of other stuff going on. Yeah. We got three alone, baby. Yeah. We got alone. Don't don't listen to me. Leave me alone. Don't listen to me. Listen to me. Don't don't listen to me. You're amazing, bro. Just oh, stick man. to what What's you're good that? at. Stop I, I trying like to add all this <laughs> extra stuff right now. Yeah. Save like, for a couple like years down the line, man. We'll see how we'll see how it's just a standstill three bottle. Um <laughs> how often is that gonna happen though? I mean well, the yeah, modern NBA yeah, when yeah. when fives don't go out there, yeah. he's not known for shooting threes, it can happen. Right. All right, let's let's go um let's go rapid fire and, and then uh, we'll wrap up. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hit that thumbs up on the for you boys. If you're a diehard Knicks fan, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sure. This is the number one show for the fans by the fans. TV from Knicks Fan TV. The man Tate also from the Nick Time Show. Thanks. Knicks super fan Ryan Saunders. We just dope. took a tour of Ryan's crib, seeing a whole bunch of dope Knicks collectibles. Thanks. It was a real cool time, so we definitely appreciate Check Ryan the hosting us. The the chip. Chip. Um, yeah, man. Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. Man. Appreciate it. Um, all right, so let's go rapid fire, man. Who's your favorite Nick of all time? Favorite Nick of all time? Ray Elton. 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 <laughs> Elton. Okay. All right. Ray Felton is my most underrated nigga. Most oh, okay. underrated. Okay, there you go. That's most a good underrated. Yeah. Most oh, underrated. Who's your most underrated? My most underrated? Oh, That's I haven't even thought about that, really. That's a tough question. Get that. I, I like that Raymond Felton answer, yeah, but I don't yeah, want yeah, to be, I don't want to bite, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I really yeah. like that answer, though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, favorite moment? Favorite moment. Ooh. 2012 playoffs game four versus Miami. We won by, what was that, two or four points? Versus LeBron, Chris yeah. Bosh, and uh, Dwayne Wade. Wait, that was the game where they threw the, the, the confetti down? Did they? Were you there? You were there. You were there, right? That was, that was, no, like, that wasn't Easter, but I don't yeah, know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was like May something. It was yeah. later on in May. That yeah, 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 yeah. But that whole atmosphere in the garden, this is just the renovation and all that, so right. I still mm-hmm. smell like piss and yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That authentic like New York. Yeah. Five rows in front of me, somebody was about to fight. It yeah. was, it was, oh, nice, man, nice, nice. It's not like a project okay. elevator. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Who was your favorite team one year? Favorite? Oh, oh. oh. damn. That's a good Houston question. Houston Springwood. <laughs> yeah, you know, of course that that '99 team yeah. that went to the finals that's against the Spurs—that's yeah. that's a classic. Mm-hmm. Um, let me just also say this because people forget about my man Ronnie Turrio. And that was oh, my I guy. love Ronnie Turrio. Yeah, that was man. my guy. I love Ronnie Turrio. That was my guy. Y'all yeah, just like him because he got beers like y'all. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, he brought a lot of energy to me. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. That, that was like, my guy. That was yeah. my guy. So I just had to give a shout out to him real quick because I don't feel like people. Yeah, Turrio jersey. Don't. Don't. Oh, oh, I'm surprised. Now you yeah, yeah, everybody in there. I'm surprised. Oh, I'm surprised. Trying right. to spend the more money, man. <laughs> so <laughs> so you said that the Heat game was that was your, your that favorite, was my favorite game to be in in person. To be there in the garden to watch favorite. that personally. Okay. Favorite of all time. So. Uh, favorite Knicks experience period, of mm. course, LJ's four point play. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that like the back of my hand. I was at my aunt's house in Jersey. Yep. Yeah. The whole house went crazy. The mm-hmm. floor was rocking. It. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So you would say, because you met quite a few players, meeting LJ was the highlight of Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. nigga of all time. So to meet him was definitely a pleasure. Did you cry? No, I didn't, but I had a quick story. <laughs> yeah. When I met him for the very first time, before I went to the game, I was home watching Family Matters. Mm-hmm. And he was on the episode. Oh, oh shit. With Steve Irvin. Sarah Dippy, man. Mama. Seven you will him to see you. So when I met him, I told him, like, yo, you remember that episode you did with Family Matters? And he gave me the illest, ice cold look. Like, why are you going to bring up that? Ah! But that was my guy. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was from 
phenomenal. It was a great wow. time. You don't just sell, don't bring up family matters. Don't. Do not, <laughs> do not. I actually have a picture. It's probably on my Instagram somewhere where you can actually see him ice grilling me. Mm-hmm. Ask, ask oh, that question. man. So don't ever ask LJ about that family matters episode. That's what he does. Now, why everybody do the exact opposite of me? Yeah, that's funny. Right. <laughs> what was your um, favorite acquisition? Oh, with this draft from from Three, this, from and this no, 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 uh, oh, period, yeah, period. Your favorite acquisition when he was like when he when he came to the Knicks, whether it was drafted or free agency, was like that's, easy. Oh. that's easy. Amari Stoudemire, thank you, Amari. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm not coming back, bro. For coming to New York, yeah, trying to make a statement. When you came here, you played your ass off. I appreciate Amari Stoudemire. That is my favorite. Knicks acquisition. Recently named uh, Big Three Defensive Player of the Year. Amari hey! hey! that. Not three just on the offensive court defense. What? Three on three half court defense. Amari is definitely a staple in Knicks history. If Dan Tony can see you now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the acquisition that you ate? Uh, oh, I know. All right, now you got, I, I got mine. Mike Sweetman? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Sweeney? Yeah, I, mean, oh, I got Mike a list of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mike Trash. Trash. Um, Eddie Curry? Trash. Trash. Eddie Curry. Trash. 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 Uh, he's not at the bottom, but he's trash. Uh, trash. Who else? I, I don't even want to keep oh. shooting on that. No, I'm saying the most. Jerome the most. The most. The most. The most. The most. Andre Bargnani. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> that was huge. I almost forgot about him. Uh, Antonio McDice, everything. Yeah. That was just something I saw. We'll be here all night. Uh, we'll be here all night. We'll be here all night, man. Antonio McDice, absolutely. What, what's, what's your wins prediction for this team? <sighs> Damn, you put me on the spot. It's rapid fire. Honestly, man. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I'm thinking like 40 something wins, y'all. Woo! Hey! Old predictions. I'm gonna be, Old I'm, predictions. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm thinking like 40-something this season. You know what I mean? Okay. We're going to see what happens, but I'm going with 40-something. That's what I'm saying. Okay. okay. We're going to see at the end of the season. Y'all we'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Talk about. That's the first bold prediction, man. We're, We're going, going around collecting 40-something. Wait, wait, wait. That's the first follow up question. Yeah. Is that a low something or a high something? That is a, that is a low 40 something. Low 40 something. Low 40 something. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, man, yo, this was a dope, dope episode. I hope Absolutely. you guys enjoyed it. Pardon the technical difficulties in the yeah, beginning. Man. These things happen, but we didn't I have think it things stabilized, man. <laughs> I think we had a good show, man. We saw a lot of great, great artifacts that this guy has. This guy yeah, is tried and true. Let's, let's get that tattoo one oh, more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For the people that missed it, man, it. this guy's official. If you don't got it, it ain't. Yeah, you ain't a real Knicks fan. Salute to my guy, Ryan, man. Yeah, man. Definitely appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Hold on, let me get you back. Go ahead, bro. Thank you very much for having me, Knicks Fans TV, Knicks Omni fan, everybody, Orange and Blue crew. Nothing but love. Only issue I have is mostly our Knicks fans and Yankees fans, and we got to stop that. Mets all day. I love you. Mets fans. Any Mets fans in the chat? Orange and Blue unite. Other than that, y'all already know what it is. Thank you for having me. I appreciate y'all. Muscle Absolutely, Muscle man. Muscle Appreciate Muscle. it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Right. And um, yeah, everybody in the chat, you can follow him at the slickest Nick forty six at Instagram. Right. So you want to just put that in the chat? Yeah. Yes, okay. So like Dave just put it in the chat. The slickest Nick forty six. Thanks for having us in your crib, man. Yeah, man. Coming through. I appreciate it. Yo, appreciate no. everybody for coming through. Ryan, my boy yep. Jay Ellis from Nicky Time Show. We out of here, man. Hit that thumbs up button for your boys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys Word, next man. time. Make man. sure you subscribe if you have not already all six of y'all. Yes, sir. Of y'all's. <laughs> Jay from East New York. Appreciate it, man. John Talento, pre- John Talento said, let's go Mets. All right. Yeah, there you go. Sammy See Soso. Appreciate it. Gary Nigga Ruiz. Tom's What's show. going on? Thank you, Craig. Craig, hold me down, dog. Shay Burgess. I see you, Shay Burgess. Shout out to Craig. All of the yeah, KLT Podcast. Absolutely, cloud. Mike Hawks. What up, Mike Hawks? Yeah. Sorry, Joe and King. Shout out to y'all, you too, yo. Y'all saw yeah, you me down hard too. Bro. Yo, is your tattoo I artist see in you here? In the, I see huh? you. Your tattoo I artist see is you, in here? Is he in there? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see you in the comments. He's not a mix Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right, yo, cool, man. KOT show. All right, we out of here, baby. October. Peace out. Coming back. Don't worry.